guy. Who the hell are you? Two episodes in, and yep, I think Hawkeye is my new favorite Marvel series on Disney Plus. The best since WandaVision. So, what do you need to appreciate this series? Well, first, I think a passing knowledge of the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, what Hawkeye has been through would help because although this is a very light-hearted series, one thing we see from Hawkeye here, he's hard of hearing, he uses a hearing aid, in fact, and so he's seen some damage. Things have gotten more complicated. Remember, he's only a human, and so this version of Hawkeye, who survived Infinity War and all of that and has lost some friends, I mean, he is carrying the weight of that. When I wore this suit, I made a whole lot of enemies. Now it's generally just expressed in his overall grumpiness, but it comes from what he's experienced in some of the other Marvel movies. But you know, what I love about this character, and this is probably the best version of Hawkeye we've seen so far. Now, I have to admit, I've always liked Hawkeye. I'm a comics geek. I used to read West Coast Avengers. Yes, that is a thing. He was the leader of the West Coast Avengers. And just, just as a hero, I mean, I love the idea in this universe of super beings, he is just a guy with a bow and arrow and that wonderfully ridiculous outfit. So we are talking about Clint Barton. But really, if you're gonna talk comics, and if you want to appreciate or understand part of what makes this series so refreshing, what you wanna do is you wanna go look at the comics run because at its time, it gave us a new take on Hawkeye, who was just a guy who had been beaten down, who had taken some licks, who was trying to get his life back together. The comic itself actually used sign language. It also introduced some new hilarious members of his rogues gallery, new opponents like the Tracksuit Mafia, who make an appearance in this series. <laughs> And also, we can credit the Matt Fraction series for Lucky the Pizza Dog. What a good boy. But, you know, again, like, Tracksuit Mafia, an adorable dog. Like, these are the things that keep this series and this version of Hawkeye close to the ground. A little more of a relatable kind of superhero series with some wonderful little touches for Marvel fans like, yes, you will see a musical about Steve Rogers and how the Avengers saved the day. Yes, you will see Hawkeye in the second episode go to a LARPing tournament. This is live action role play where people dress up as warriors and I won't spoil it, but it is kind of delicious how uh, those two things, Hawkeye and the LARPers intersect. What is also wonderful is the chemistry between Jeremy Renner and Haley Steinfeld as Kate, this woman who is incredibly talented, but also has a lot to earn, but it is about that alchemy, it's about how her energy and exuberance just brings out even more grumpiness in Hawkeye. Some people have actually called me the world's greatest archer. Are you one of those people? So, two episodes in, love the vibe. I hope they can keep that scope the right scale. I don't want multiverses, I just want Kate and Clint Hawkeye trying to save the world or even just save the street in their own way. Oh, just some Christmas. 